This was my first time going on a train since I was 10. I felt a bit nervous, but Kate made me feel comfortable. I really liked the journey. Looking out of the views, normally I travel by the car. When we arrived at the station, I saw the people rushing around. It was noisy, colourful and exciting. Then we met Sophia. She's an artist and designer who, who makes and sells her own books. She showed me her work. <laughs> it was great meeting her. Uh, we even have similar interests. We discussed my design ideas for the magic beans. I really liked the sort of Jack and the Beanstalk idea to kind of market it to kids. Because of the flowers, like, they can grow into anything. You don't know what flowers are going to yeah. come out of it. <laughs> she was impressed and made some good suggestions. Yeah, yeah. She might have to I mean, and she loved to help on the project. When we came back, uh, we continue to develop the design and looking forward to the next step and the finished product. We went to Perky Blenders to learn how to make a good cup of coffee. I met Jordan, the manager. He is a barista, a coffee maker, and he was really nice as well. I was feeling nervous. I was being filmed and learning to make coffee. Jordan began by showing me the equipment. He taught me how to make a double shot espresso. First, how to make the double shot espresso to take off the hand for the coffee brewer, clean out any damp coffee beans and weigh out on the handle. I then put some coffee beans in the mini handle basket for a double shot espresso. I lifted up the handle on the machine to let out any coffee residue and placed it in position the brewer handle. I touched the right button to start and made a double shot espresso. Good. 
Then Jordan taught me how to make an Americano. An Americano is just the same method for coffee brewing, but you place hot water in a cup and while the coffee is brewing, the liquid mixes in, a, in the hot water together to make an Americano. The next coffee Jordan showed me was a latte or flat white. They're both similar, but extra stronger coffee, but with like less of the milk. This time I used a milk steamer. I purged the pipe. The steam wasn't hot. I was steaming up the milk and making it the right temperature hot for the flat white. Not too hot to hold. I then swirled the milk and then in for texture into the coffee, I did the coffee art as a heart. I held the jug just above the cup and performed a making of a heart since it is Valentine's Day. Jordan said I could make a fine barista. I'd like to come back and work. Thanks to Tommy, Marcus and Jordan.